Hi. Maybe you're thinking about what to use for version control. You've heard about Git, SVN, Mercurial, um, and you're just not really sure how to use any one of them. Maybe you work at a business that uses SVN and um, you want to learn how to use it. Uh, in either case, this tutorial, this short tutorial is going to show you how to get up and going like a pro. I'm going to show you how to create a repository, um, commit changes, set permissions appropriately, uh, branch, merge, and, and really just use SVN like professional. Okay, so uh, for this tutorial, I had an old desktop here at home. I'm using that as my server. Um, I have it open here. I'm connected via SSH to that server. It's really no big deal. I installed Ubuntu on it, and uh, I also installed uh, Open SSH server. Naturally, that's how I'm connected. And uh, as also, I had to install Subversion. So, on your server, supposing that you're running Ubuntu or Debian or something like that, you can sudo apt get install Subversion. Of course, you're going to need Subversion on the client machine as well. And uh, I also installed um, OpenSSH server. Okay, but you see, they're both installed already. So, let's start a project. Let's say you were working on some project. Let's call it Hello World. And uh, you were doing lots of work. Let's put a typo in here. We'll fix that later. And commit the change. Okay. So now we have our project here. This is the source code on the client machine. And now we want to back it up. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to go to our server and we're going to make a, a place for our repository to live. I'll, um, I'll put it here. sudo make the directory SVN repos. Okay. Now we have to create a repository there. Use SVN admin create and tell it where to create it and tell it what to create. I'll call the repository hello. Now notice that the directory here is hello world. Here I'm saying hello. It doesn't matter, but it just means that whenever you check out the project somewhere else, it's going to have this name. Um, so if you want to call it hello world to keep the name of this directory, that's fine. If you call it something else, that just means whenever you check the, the project out somewhere else, it's going to be called hello and not hello world. Create that. And now we need to start our server. So sudo svn serve uh, dash d daemon r for root. That's important. And we'll talk about that in a minute, but it's not important right now. And we'll say where is the root? It's here. Okay, now all we have to do is push our files to the server. With that, um, to do that, we're going to say svn import hello world. And what's the IP address of the server? It's, let's see, 192.168.1.4. So we say svn import hello world svn slash s will put the IP address. Let's zoom that out a little bit. Okay. Um, four. And then notice that here, remember we put this R for root. So now when we specify the path to where we want to put the files, we're going to put them relative to the root. So now we just have to write hello. We need to add a commit message. This is a commit message. Oh, but look what happened. Authorization failed. Naturally, we didn't set the permissions. Uh, we didn't set the permissions yet. So let's take care of that. We'll come back over here to the server. And we're going to say SVN repos hello and conf 
and svnserve.conf. There are three lines of interest. There are a few lines more of interest in this file, but just to get up and going, you just need to modify three lines. And in fact, most folks only really modify these lines. Or maybe not most, but plenty of plenty of people only touch these three lines. So the lines are a non-access, uh, anonymous access. That's to say, um, unauthorized users. What what rights should they have? Should they have read rights? Should they be allowed to check out the files and look at them? Uh, I'll just say no. Let's just say no. Let's not give them any any rights. Only authorized people. And the authorized folks, should they be able to write or just read? Well, naturally they want to, I mean, for our case, they should be able to write. Because you are going to want to change your files and commit them. And uh, we also have to say where the passwords are for the users. That'll be here in this file. We're going to change that next. So, okay, again, anonymous users can't do anything with our repository. They can't check it out. They can't read it. And they can't write to it authorized users they can read and write they in other words they can check out that's the read and they can write that's commit and this is where the passwords are going to be for the authorized users where is that file it's right next to this configuration file password <coughs> we'll make a user called username or whatever you like and the password will just be password Okay, now let's try that again. Import. Import is like our initial commit. Let's give it a message again. This is a successful commit. It's asking the, for the password for temp. Okay, it's just getting this name, just your username on the machine that you're trying to commit from. Um, but naturally, temp isn't in the authorized user. It's not in the password file. So we can just hit enter, and now it's going to prompt us asking us for a username. We said username, and now it's going to ask us for the password, and we said password. Now look, we've made our first commit. Now to show you that it's actually been committed, we can... This temp file, that was from the failed commit, right? Let's delete that so it's not cluttering things up. Let's delete this directory. And if everything went correctly, um, according to plan, we should be able to check it out and have everything back. So let's uh, rm rf hello world. Now it's gone. Now let's check it out. Co check out. You can type either one. Co is just shorthand. Again, we'll type svn. Uh, 192.168.1.4 and again we're just going to put that relative path hello and now we have it back and notice like I said earlier now the directory is called hello because we named the repository hello um, before it said hello world that's no problem if it is a problem for you give the repository the same name as the directory from your initial import Now we can fix this. We put a typo in there on purpose. Now let's fix that. And now let's commit it again. Fixed this spelling error in hello.py. Okay. Now notice that we're not being asked to authenticate again. Only once have we been able to ask to, to give our username and password. Um, that's because SVN caches on your disk, on the client disk, it, it stores the password, all the login information. Um, just to show you that that's the case, uh, we can delete it and then we'll try to make another commit and you'll see that it asks us to authenticate again. That information is in, um, it's here in your home directory in the dot subversion subdirectory. Oh, person. Okay. Now let's try to make another commit. Let's change this file again. Let's add a a useful comment. Now let's commit that. Added a useful comment. You see, now it's asking us to log in again. Username is username. 
and the password is password. Oh, did I type that wrong? Password. <coughs> so that's that, folks. Now you've seen how to create a repository. Check it out. Log in. Uh, set permissions as you like them. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about branching and merging.